Okay, everybody, welcome back to MG Arena here. <coughs> so we've got the I played a few games, and we got we're down to the last three mm. wins to go. Um, so I've played. I'm I've tried up um, lots of my things here, but these this goblins one is actually quite nice. Um, obviously, I think we've been pretty lucky in how our matches have turned out. But <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and um, knock this out, or at least try to. Three wins, come on. Alright, um, so it's sort of a goblin shell with um, the steamkin, because obviously that gets counters, otherwise none of this is quite impressive. <clears throat> So goblin instigators. We don't have a lot of one drops, so we're not we're fine playing this blood crypt attack. So we've got um, mana for frenzy as well, so we can start churning through all of our stuff. Thought ratio. Wonder what they'll take. Experimental frenzy. So they're afraid of frenzy rather than the goblins. I suppose that's all right. Okay, so let's instigate with the goblin. With the goblin, obviously we're not going to attack. We do have Skirk Prospectors in here, I think. I don't remember. I haven't seen them yet. Goblin War Chief gives all of our goblins haste. The same playing some sort of blue black control. Um, I think I'll play the siege game commander and swing in with the entire team of goblins. Not this here. They can take the brunt of these. Um, <coughs> Yeah, let's look at that. <clears throat> Hopefully, well, the ritual set doesn't do it. It only kills everything except for the siege game commander. Um, thought erasure. Okay, our last goblin instigator. <clears throat> so they're not having much luck with anything. So I, um, at this point, I can start slinging the goblins at their face. The ones that are about to die. Hmm, interesting. So, I think they've played two of these already. I don't think they'll have another one. So, let's go ahead and um, swing with the team here. Not with that, it's just holding back as a blocker. Using that one. Yes, please. Oh, wait, cancel. No, 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 no. Okay, yes, please. Select the target creature or planeswalker, then select the goblin to sacrifice. <coughs> End that turn. So next turn we can hold up a uh, siege gating activation and play the phoenix. Chemist's insight main phase, great for us. Ooh, what do they have here? Dawn of Hope, okay. <laughs> well, I doubt they'll be gaining a bit of life anytime soon. Um I think I'll get in with this as well, actually. I reckon, let's see, they'll take five, go down to six. But this way, they take two, take four, going down to seven. Yeah, let's just do this one. 
<clears throat> Keep up the journey away. Target them. Sacrifice this goblin. Next to damage. And play the Phoenix. And have they got anything to deal with this nonsensical army here? Okay. So they can draw a card. I could have um, held back the four mana to shoot them in the face just because they did have a Kaios Wrath of likes, likes for that. <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and attack them. We've got this Chandra and if they want to attack it that's fine, they'll be taking damage off of it. Let's not be a land. Perfect. Look at that. And that's game for them. <clears throat> Sweet. Chandra. Okay, so let's look at the deck list for a bit. So we've got a... Um, the Fanatical Fiber... Oh, we do not have... We put Goblin Banneret instead. Uh, I want to have that Mentor trigger for the for Kingpin and for Legion War Boss. Um, so I've got a, a slew, not a full play set of each, but I think this is nice. And um, Jettel Butcher having counters on it is quite nice exactly as well. Um, there was a game where I was able to, I had two Legion War Bosses out with again a Goblin Banneret, played the Dreadhold Butcher, uh, stacked the Mentor with this targeting this first and this after that. So these resolve first and this resolve last. This became a 4-4 on that attack. Um, Dreadhorn Invasion, obviously, to getting two power on the board each turn is quite massive. Um, Lightning Strike to round things off a shock. I could just cut the shock for another whatever I want. I do want to have at least a play um, on turn one about at least 60% of the time. Trash Master obviously to buff all the goblins. We don't have any more rare slots to use on that. Seize so getting Commander, great. Um, Sokin and Chandra are great top ends, especially the Frenzy as well. Um, making goblins cheaper, having the Frenzy, have the. Oh, it's just a slew of things. Maybe I'll put this shock in for that Skirt Prospector on that off chance that we do get that one Skirt Prospector. It helps. It will help us um, go off quite quicker. All right, two more wins here. Two more wins. Let's do this. We are playing against Luzifiel. Oh, Luzifiel? I'm not sure. So this is an awkward hand here. You do not do a London Mulligan here, but we've got one, two, and hopefully we draw a, a Dragon Skull Summit. That would be the most ideal. I think we'll go ahead and attack here. If they choose to block it and they play like a, a something that has counters on it, then shit. Hat, um, they do not get to create that zombie army token. Okay, so that's why they chose to um let it. Okay, so we're off to a slow start. So let's just keep jamming in with this two two, or oh, the, the zombie army. Could have sacrificed a fanatical firebrand to um, shrink it, but I've got the lightning strike next turn, so I think that will be better. Um, yeah, that will be better since the loser three three they may likely play something with a counter on it like this one, um, or well, that will be problematic actually. Um, I'm going to have to spend. A firebrand and a lightning strike on it. Just stacking with everything here. 
We've got plenty of options to do. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really care about that one one dying. Um, but we need to get rid of that spellbreaker. So I think we may spend a light up the stage plus two fanatical firebrands. Well, let's see what we get off of this first. Okay, we've got lands. Um, I don't want to spend both the firebrands, so I'll go ahead and cast this lightning strike to kill off that spellbreaker to finish it off, and that will grow our steamkin as well. Next turn, we're well off. Uh, on our way to playing Chandra Fire Otterson. Um so I think this is great. <coughs> Pet collector. Um sure. Wait to kill that. The spellbreaker is insane for them. Okay, so play that mountain in exile. You got a Chandra Fire Artisan. You wanna go, tough guy? Let's light it up. Um okay, so let's just do this for that firebrand. We are in the shit to right now. Chandra, however, will go off I don't want uh, the turn after. Hopefully, at least. They want to attack um, Chandra. I think I'm fine with letting it go. Pass two blocks. I think I'll do this. And then shoot them. Oh, they have hex proof, that's right. Cancel. That's a problem. When they have Grill Spellbreaker out and they attack Chandra, and I take the damage, or Chandra does. Okay, let's get something get nice. Okay. So we can play the Dreadhorde Butcher. Okay, that's good. Um, we'll play... Um, the Banneret. Then play the Goblin Chieftain. And that will get us... Just to where... Exactly to where we need to. Hmm. No attacks. I'm fine with this. Hopefully they don't um, recognize that. Okay, that's fine. Don't really care about the Seelie. Hopefully they don't attack the Spellbreaker into Chandra. And I want to play... Chandra next turn. Oh, bloody hell. That's good. That's good. Do not attack Chandra, please. That's fine. That's fine. Not with the Spellbreaker. Um, Dreadful Butcher can die. I don't really care about the Butcher. Yeah, that's fine. And this Dreadful Butch can kill that Jade Light Ranger, which is really, really nice. Killing that one. <coughs> My turn. Okay. They no longer have Hex Proof. And look at that. Perfect. Okay. Okay, we got that. 
Um, we got light at the stage. So it's going to be Goblin War Chief. Resolve. Resolve. Um, Legion War Boss. Resolve. Instigator resolves. This is quite disgusting here. Um, play out this cook prospector. You don't have a frenzy, or, or this would be even more disgusting. Um, or lightning struck their face. And um, pump up this. Pump up this. Attacking with everything. Good game. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, jeez. Ultimating Chandra and then just going off, going off big time here. Oh, that was incredible. <clears throat> one more game. One more game. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, if we can get three wins in a row, that'll be perfect, um, and I can get get on with my day. Oh come on! Uh, no, we got to Mulligan. There's no guaranteeing the second land. Oh. Okay, there's uh, a somewhat guarantee for that second land. Um, Pay two live. Play the banneret. So at least we can get in. If they don't play a creature, we can get in for one point of damage. And they played a creature. Ah! Do it, just throw it away? I think not. Uh, actually, no, I, yeah, don't need to. We can wait till next turn. That's perfectly fine. We can pump up the Goblin Banneret and get in for some damage as well. Song of Freilies, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Do not have. Do we just attack in with everything and throw away the steamkin here? I I think not. We got one more turn. I think we'll be okay. Let that happen. So all the creatures can tap for enormous amounts of mana. Okay, that uh, that's a problem actually. Can attack in, yes. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> so I think I attack in anyways. Um, I'll be taking 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, And with this I'll get in for I won't kill anything. I mean this one this obviously will come in. But I can do this. They want to trade, that's great for me. Otherwise I'm pretty much screwed and dead in the water. Um Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible. Okay. That's good. <clears throat> That's one less creature that won't be 
attacking our faces, so if they decide to block, yes. Good for us, good for us. Got a Steamkin at least that can uh, block this 2-2. Two -two. He's drawing a card each turn. Oh man, that's such a problem. Such a problem for us. We've been stuck on lands. Um, I think this is a good game. Yeah, got this. Don't think we can get ourselves out to this. <clears throat> and he gets a second guardian. Yeah, I'll just concede here. That was pretty spicy. Song of Frailies is an incredible card for this format right here. Okay, one more game. Well, we were trying to win in the three, but unfortunately we lost the third one. So, let's play one more game to um, smooth this out. Hopefully we win this one as well and get the last card. So, we are playing against Notza as... I'm not sure where that's coming from. Oh, if we can get a third land, this would be incredible. We're going first as well. Oh, let's let's keep it. Let's try it. You know, we get turn three, get Goblin War Chief into Cranko into <coughs> War Boss. Okay, let's try it. <coughs> we at least get a creature each turn. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, look at that. Land number three, right on time. Come on, trade. No. That's fine. I just don't want them having... They're green-white. Okay, so now they're playing Merfolk. Branch Walker. Massacre Girl. They're playing four-colored Dreadhorde. With this nonsense. Sure. <coughs> That's a problem for us. <coughs> and there we go. It's cleared up. Uh, no attacks. Uh, I bloody hate the fairy. Okay, that's fine for us. <coughs> Who blocks? Just leaving something back to Spectre the Fairy. Okay. So we can do um, Goblin War Chief. We're going to be taking a beating for a bit. Oh, we want both of them on the battlefield. Um. Yeah, I think this is fine. Go ahead. Yeah, that's that's fine. Here we go. Ew, that's good, that's good. Um, so we don't have to throw away our Cranko or our Legion War Boss, which means we can attack with both of these here. Okay, let's think about this. So this has to attack. Um, if we attack with the war boss, that guarantees it because they'll attack one of them. And if we buff up the goblin banneret, I think that's good. <coughs> Split up our things so they have to decide what they want to kill. We've got exactly on both the planeswalkers and um, 
They do realise they've got lethal next turn, right? I just I just screwed the pitch here. <laughs> they've got ten power on board. Okay. Quick game, quick game. Oh, uh, that was an idiot answer. But Teferi is just uh, it's like both Teferis. Big Teferi and Little Teferi are just I don't think they're healthy for the format. Although they're, they're powerful cards, I like them, but <coughs> it doesn't inspire creativity. Except for when you're trying to just mush in the Teferi into whatever kind of deck you want. Oh, look at this. I like this. I quite like what they're doing. <coughs> That's what we were doing earlier as well. Um, we've got this Goblin Skater. We've got more Charm Strays. Might as well attack. No reason not to. Yeah, trade off that. Meaning they're not able to attack into us. If they got two Charm Strays, okay. Maybe it's just Mono White. Maybe it's just Mono White. Attacking in with everything. I don't care about my creatures. Yes, that's great. I got lightning strike up. Let's not let you do that. I've got to light up stage two. Yes, perfect. <coughs> Good. Not creature. That's perfect for us. Yeah, it's quite alright. Um I'll obviously cast the banneret. Let's go ahead and attack in first. Like you just keep blocking that. You've got the light up the stage. Perfect for us. Play this. Get more goblins out. Next time we get a goblin, a legion war boss out as well. This is um, fantastic, actually. Okay, they're still attacking. I don't know what they've got. Okay, first strike. They should just left that on defense, and then they, they're able to block something. Um, play this wall boss. Lots of one ones coming in. We've got one more light to the stage. There must be. Uh, they must be like. Oh, how did he do that? That's good. Um, giving this life like and then. That's just really, really good. <coughs> That'll be a 4 4 at the end of this turn. Both of them will be 4 4s. Oh, and that's just. Goblin Trash Master. <coughs> Let's pop this up as well. So let's try this carefully. Um, let's move in. The Goblin Banner will mentor the Legion War Boss. Submit. And the Legion War Boss will mentor the. Um, this thing here. Yeah, quite like that.
Yep, and they have seen they've they've given up. And we have got Ugin the ineffable. And a charging monster saw, apparently, out of that. So hopefully you guys enjoy the games. Um hopefully I'll post this up soon. Um and then you can get on playing the rest of this event. Um and it will end in let's see here. I'm not sure when it ends here. Okay, um, so let's buy some packs and crack them open and we'll call it a day. War of the Spark. A mythic rare slot. I quite like that. And the next card we'll get from the uh, six packs is going to be a mythic rare Together, wild card we as well. Prepare. Okay, so we've got our fourth Nissa. <coughs> okay, hope you guys enjoy that. Have a good day. Bye.